Hey everybody, it's Alec at Revival Cycles, and today we're going to be talking about how to test the battery of your sweet hog. I'm going to be showing you how to test the battery in your motorcycle. I'm going to be showing you what the voltage should be at resting uh, with the key on and then under load. Right now we're going to be testing a lead acid battery. In just a little bit we're going to be testing a lithium ion battery as well because they both have different readings and uh, that's something that you need to be aware of. So you're going to want to take your handy little multimeter and you're going to want to hook it up to the battery, positive to positive, negative to negative. And what we're looking for right now is actually resting voltage, just to see where the voltage is at as the bike sits. You're also going to want to test it after it hasn't been ridden in a couple of hours and also if the battery's been pulled off the tender uh, a couple of hours ago, just to kind of get it at a good resting voltage place. So you're going to turn your multimeter onto DC voltage. And right now you can see this battery is resting at 12.66, which is good because with these lead acid batteries, you want them anywhere between 12.6, 12.8. That's kind of where they like to be. So yeah, that's the first test, right? Is this battery dead? It's not dead. It's got voltage in it. It seems okay. Now, there's another way to check to see if it actually can handle any sort of load, right? So it could on the surface appear that your battery like, oh, my battery is reading at 12.6, like everything's fine. That's not true though. So the first thing you wanna check is you wanna see what it does when you turn the key on. You should be looking for no more than a half a voltage drop. Um, anything above that, you're probably looking at a bad battery, but we'll start with that. All right, so there we go. We're at 12.6, 12.5, 12.8, 12.56. You know, the longer you keep it on, it may start to go down a little bit, but right there, that shows you that that battery is good. We put a small load on it. Didn't really go down that far. We're still okay. So now here's the real big test, a really good heavy load, which is trying to start the bike. If you go anywhere below 10.5 or 10 or something like that, then that battery is shot. You wanna make sure it doesn't go below that. So let's see what it does trying to start the bike. As you can see, it's already dropped down to 3.8, which is still okay. Yeah, as you can see, when I hit the start button, that thing went down to like 11.9, which is still really, really good. So that is an indication that this battery is just fine. All right, so now we're gonna be testing a lithium ion battery. Now the resting voltage on these is higher than the lead acid ones wants to be anywhere between 12.8 to 13.4. So let's see where this one is right now. Again, DC voltage, 12.94. So that's good. We're right where we need to be, essentially. Now, let's see what it does with the key on. There we go. 12.9, I mean, that thing didn't really do much. So. Next thing, we're gonna see what happens under the load of starting the bike. All right, perfect example of a bad battery. Whenever I went to hit the start button, it dropped down to like 9.7 or 9.8, I think I noticed. And on these, the lowest you wanna go is like 11.5. So right now we know that that battery, these batteries are done. And that is how you check your batteries. Yeah, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment. Say whatever you feel, it's the internet, it's free. You can do whatever you want and no one will judge you. Thanks. Now is the time of video where most people ask for money or donations or whatever. I'm not gonna ask you for that. What I'm gonna say to you is, if you wanna see more videos and you wanna learn more of what we've learned and you wanna see a deep dive into a lot of these topics, go to our website and buy something. We sell everything from motorcycle gear, helmets, uh, motorcycle parts, specialized tools. We sell lots of things and they've all taken us years to figure out what the best stuff is and we figured it out. So go to revivalcycles.com. There's some really good stuff there. Everything from like kick-ass hand grips from Posh to Radiance LED lighting and everything in between. We wanna teach you what we know, but this stuff takes time and it takes real effort to make these videos and make them good for you guys. So go support us by helping yourself to the cool stuff you already need. And it helps us because we make a little bit of profit and then we can justify doing more videos. Thanks for your support.